You're feeling a lot better, aren't you? Tell me, how's the pain? It hurts a little. It keeps me awake. How long ago did they kidnap you? I don't know. I didn't count. The police came to the house one night. They said they were taking me to the station, but they gave me to these men instead. Now no one will ever find me. Never. Don't be scared anymore, okay? I'll find a way to escape, and we'll get out of here together. But how? I haven't figured that out quite yet, but I'll find a way out. But until I do, the two of us won't speak about it. And we'll do whatever they tell us. You with me on that? Okay. I just miss my home so much. My mother and my sister. I miss them both so much. I really miss them. Put your arm through this hole. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. And this goes this way too. Huh? That's the way. Okay. There you are. There you go, you my darling. You used to tell me stories. Why don't you do it anymore? Of course I'll tell you some if you want me to. Yes, I do. Come over here then. Make room. There we go. <laughs> what kind of bedtime story will I tell you now? Once upon a time, in a land far, far away from here, there was a sweet little girl just like you there. Yes, there is. And when this little girl went to sleep at night, right? Close those eyes, little girl. Mm. When she fell asleep at night, she kept having the same dream. In her dream, she saw a house. And in the house, she saw someone she loved. When she woke up, she started searching for that house. She never tired. She never stopped and she never gave up. She searched for days on end. Then, of course, she found it. Her beloved brother was in that house. He ran to her. They hugged together tightly and cuddled. They had missed each other so much. Then the two little siblings held hands and returned home happily together. Yes, hello. Yes, it's Layla. Ah, oh, Mr. Yunus. Of course I remember. Do you have something for me? Really, sir? Okay, thank you very much. I'll be on my way. I'm taking off right away, yes. Layla, where are you going to go so early in the morning? Who was that? Mr. Yunus. I went to see him yesterday with Alma. He interprets dreams in order to help people who need it. At first he refused us. But now he says to come over quickly. Oh, my dear God, please let him tell me something about my son. Layla, my love, how can you believe this nonsense? You're really upsetting me with all this talk about Sears and the like. Look at the state you're in now. The man is clearly a charlatan after your money, no, and that's all. No, he's not all. a charlatan at all. I believe in this guy. He'll tell us something. You'll see, Gerald. He'll tell us something. Layla, darling, please don't do this. Come and lie down for a little bit longer. Layla! Oh. Aldo, can you get the kid some new clothes when you go out? He's been wearing the same clothes for days. They smell. Okay, we'll see. Pardon, sir? Are you going to town right now? What is it now? Need something from town, Nurse Dora? I do, yes. I need more medicine for the other sick guy. The old guy never came back with it. One guy took the other spot, now I'm stuck having to do all the dirty work. Don't worry about it. I'll go instead if you want. No, no. Stay here and watch things. I'm gonna call Ethan anyway. Tell Ethan I love him.
Welcome, my dear. Please sit. You're going to help me, aren't you? Aren't you going to help me? This is why you called me over, isn't it? I called you over to be sure first, my dear. Uh, the things I saw in my dream. If they are the same as the things that you saw, may God forgive me for turning my back on you before. And yet, if the Lord has shown us both the same exact dream this time, it means he took pity on you then. He has heard your prayers and saw it fit to bless you through me so that I can help you. Some types of dreams bring news from the truth in the world. You must see the truth first and the signs it leaves for you. I was in a village, but it was as if I was looking at the world through someone else's eyes. I saw a house as I was walking away from the main village. I saw that there were railings on the windows and the curtains were drawn, but the curtain of one window was left slightly open. I looked in and I saw a boy tied up by both hand and foot. He looked as if he were asleep. He was motionless there. His finger was in a bandage. Then suddenly, everything changed before my eyes. I saw a set of train tracks. And I heard the train coming closer. And suddenly... And suddenly... I saw an empty grave. May God forbid. Uh, it's not, uh, I mean, it, it's not for my son, right? Don't think the worst yet. Thankfully, your son remains fine so far. That's what I feel. <sighs> that grave was not dug for a child. I feel it's the harbinger of another person's death. Look, dear. Your son is being held in the village house you saw in your dreams. The village itself is close to train tracks. It's not too far from Istanbul. 